My name is Uche Bayroha and I'm a photographer from Lagos, Nigeria. When I bought a camera, you know, I went into um, this place, at, I think it was at um, Waltham store, and they had this pond, I can't remember the exact pond, and I started photographing ponds and some lakes in London, but at some point I said, this is not it for me, you know, I have to, you know, find more, you know, relevant things to photograph, because the images were already in my head. So I started photographing everyday people, you know, and also trying to be in their habitual environment, trying to feel what they feel. As human beings, we all feel the same thing. We all go through the same processes of life. We all feel the pains of um, not having some of the amenities. What I do is I go in and I ask them question. Well, what do you feel about this thing? Though I will have my camera, but I'll make them know that I'm a photographer, but I'm a reporter too. I'm trying to report what is going on. So what I try to do is to always engage, always talk, because a city is like a book, and we read different things about it, and people make up cities. So if I don't engage people, it's just like I'm stealing from them. So I see, I look at those informal ways of urban communication, how the city and the people, you know, commingle, relate to each other and speak to each other. So I try to go in to pick out all these elements that are, at times, they are very banal. You know, at times you look at them and they only exist in your memory. It's not just about um, reading newspapers and watching television. There are other, you know, informal ways of, um, you know, transmitting information to to the mass and these are some of the things I see in Lagos. Even inside the Molue buses, there are stickers everywhere. You know, either they are advertising uh, uh, a new product like a cell phone, like uh, a traditional medicine man, <laughs> like uh, religious uh, uh, gatherings, like symposia and that kind of stuff. We see a lot of stuff, all elements, different kind of elements inside the bus, but people pick them. So as an artist, you always need to plan your work, you know, as a photographer, you need to plan your work so that you are disciplined enough to go in depth into one particular subject or the subjects you are trying to deal with because there must be some kind of relevance to what you do. It's not just photographing single images which show you that aesthetic part, aesthetic part of the work. But I'm more interested in the relevance, how meaning is formed between the work and the artist. So what I do is to engage my space in a very critical manner, you know, and because I already know that photography is a language and I have a voice. So my position will always be to stand in such a manner that my work has meaning, it has context, it's relevant.